Okay, I just got off the transport for a section of the Rendsburg High Bridge. I'm going. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, film the, uh, the transporter section going back to the south end of the bridge, and uh, going to give you some idea of how it, you know, how the uh, transporter works. It actually runs every 15 minutes, regardless of which side you come from. Uh, running, operating from 5 o'clock in the morning till around 11 o'clock at night. And as you can see here, we have a lot of people in cars lining up for their route across the Baltic North Sea Canal. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, watch and see how this uh, transporter will tra will to the southern side of uh, the bridge. The nearest area, of course, is Schlacht Adolf, which is about like, a couple of kilometers away. As you can see on the top end of the transporter bridge, um, we have the tenant station. The tenant's responsible for operating the uh, transporter the section of the bridge going across uh, from point A to point B, as we're about to see right now. And what's also unique is the fact that uh, this transporter is probably one, one of the uh, last functioning bridges uh, that you'll probably ever see in, in engineering history. That's why the bridge is being considered a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. And uh, when that will happen uh, remains to be seen, but uh, it would not be surprising that given the fact that the bridge is currently being renovated in time for its 100th anniversary, that uh, it could receive the World Heritage nomination uh, come 2013, the time the bridge is 100 years old. Okay, we are about to watch the transporter section of the Rendsburg High Bridge carry our lovely passengers to the southern side of, this, uh, of the North Baltic Sea Canal. Watch and enjoy. goes. Also another interesting point to uh, mention about this uh, bridge is the fact that the, uh, the city of Rendsburg has a total of uh, three crossings for vehicles to use. And the, and the Rendsburg High Bridge is one of it's uh, one of the three that are used, but that has a certain weight restriction. That means no cars over you know, over four tons are allowed to cross this structure, which is understandable given its age. And there was a swing bridge that existed not far from the Rendsburg High Bridge, and it was it consisted of a cantilever through truss span, which uh, uh, was span actually opened uh, outwards to allow ships to pass. However, that span was replaced in the 1960s with a uh, with a multi-lane tunnel, which uh, accommodated not only passengers but also um, pedestrians and cyclists. That is still in use today, as it serves uh, one of the main streets going through Rendsburg. The other uh, the other crossing is the. Motorway 7 bridge, also known as the Europa Brücke, and this was built in 1971 to, to accommodate uh, travelers going along the Motorway 7 in the direction of Flensburg or, or Hamburg, depending on which direction you're going. And, and this bridge is still serves traffic today, as it, as it serves six lanes. It's actually the, actually the tallest and longest bridge of its kind in Germany. Okay, looks like our lovely passengers have reached the other side. Yeah. And now we're going to uh, take a look at the curly queue approach to the Rendsburg High Bridge.